symbol of destruction, destroyer of life. But that's not entirely true, for here on the southern tip of Africa, fire means birth, birth of a plant species found only on the coast of the Cape of Good Hope, called Feinbos. Feinbos, in Dutch, refers to fine-leaved shrubs that huddle close to the ground. Five thousand eight hundred species of plant found only here, which in turn host many species which call this floral kingdom home. Feinbos needs the periodic heat from fire to survive, and their dormant seeds, often protected by thick bark or insulating soil, use fire to trigger them into life. And in turn, many forms of life depend on these flowers for their survival. Some might enjoy the leafy texture. While others, like this sunbird, sip the nectar from within. But for these Cape baboons, it's a way of life. For these guys, this vegetarian diet really works, and nothing treats those itchy gums like a proteus stem. The flower seems to have a calming effect on the normally aggressive males, and for this troop, flower power is definitely the way to go. The power of the petal is great, and the baboons can't seem to get enough. But for the babies, there is still nothing that beats mom and a soft tummy to cuddle against. But let's give these primates some credit. It's not just a case of pluck and partake, but first off, one must recognize which plants can be eaten safely, and they must also be familiar with exactly which parts of each plant are safe to consume. And not to mention the pulling power flowers have when trying to attract a mate. But for all the calming power of the flower, like when any good thing comes to an end, watch out for the hangover it leaves behind. And these little guys get the full brunt of an irate male. The Chakma baboons are by nature territorial, but they don't seem to mind sharing their bounty with the Cape's endemic Bontobok. As if influenced by the beauty of the flowers, this ostrich male is spurred into dance in an attempt to impress the female. It does not, however, impress the baboons. Faster and faster he goes. But the only attention he seems to have secured is that of the Bontobok, who, taken by the moment, is also spurred into motion. The Bontobok, a subspecies of Blesbok, are happy inhabitants in this floral kingdom. as are the Chemsbok. About 250 species of land and freshwater birds are found amongst the Feinbos, and theory has it that this is an added bonus as a means of pollination, with birds transporting pollen from flower to flower. In some cases, wind is the agent of regeneration for this collection of colorful flowers, and even insects do their bit. Feinbos is born of the fire. You can see it in the color of the flowers. Even when wet with dew, the Cape Feinbos echoes the vividness of the flames. <laughs> 